Hello and welcome to Valley Soaps YouTube channel. I am Brittany, the artisan and owner here. Today we are doing a soap collaboration with some other soapers and we are working on something that has to include the colors teal and glitter and a soap embed. So please do watch this video and take a look around at the other soapers who participated in this collab. Thanks, enjoy the video. Now I'm just taking my pre-mix lye solution. I'm just gonna pour it right in there. Set that aside. And I'm gonna blend just to and emulsified, sorry. Okay. So I'm using sea salt and lotus blossom fragrance oil from Nature's Garden. I've used it in Mountain Pour before. This will be the first time using it in cold process. It is supposed to be haze though, so we shouldn't run into any issues. So I'm just gonna blend all over. That smells delicious. That's definitely a spa-like or a spa type fragrance. I'm just going to break off little parts. I'm doing just a really small batch for this collaboration. The today. black shimmer color. This has activated charcoal mixed with olive oil and some black onyx. And we're going to mix that by hand. Okay. So we'll put that one in here. This one is Gold Shimmer. I'm sorry. No, the name of this one is Glitter Gold. Ugh. So I'm gonna mix these up before we mix this larger bowl over here. Uh -oh. I think we just lost power. Now it's back on. Hmm. It's okay, because I am definitely trying a new technique today. And we'll see how that goes for us. Okay, so there's those. Then this one, we mix it up first. This one is Synergy. And I love, 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 love this color. Ah. Looks like we're thickening up already. Uh oh. I definitely need this to be more blue. Yikes. Okay, well, I think we are just going to have to go with it today. I don't really have much playtime right now. So I'm going to get my mold ready over here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this set up. this we're gonna put it on its side here kind of prop it up a little bit we're gonna do like a modified or like my own version of a Clyde slide and we will see how this goes hopefully we're not too thick here oh that smells amazing
Okay, so I've got all the mica mixed with olive oil um, spread out on top. And I'm just going to take a little skewer and just kind of send them crossways without messing up the inside design. Maybe I can do this. That was a, I want to say disaster, but I'm hoping the inside will look pretty. Now that that part is done, let's see if I can bring you closer. It's pretty, I think. It really has kind of hardened up on me really quick. Okay, so now since I already know that I'm cutting these into four bars, I'm just going to place these agates. The video on how I made these um, is going to be linked below. So I'm just going to stick these on top here. Those would be cool. Get a paper towel here. And now I'm going to spray with 91% rubbing alcohol. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. There you go. Okay. And then I have some leftover salt mixed with shimmer pearl mica and I'm just going to kind of spread spread just a little bit Let's see if I can I'll just use a craft stick to do this let's see just kind of put it on the side here. Okay. Give it another spritz, see what it looks like. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in for a close up. Okay, so here is a close up of what we just did. I think those agates on top look really cool. Here's another view. Wow. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave this overnight and cut it in the morning, but for you guys, we are going to cut it right now. Good morning. We are back to cut our teal and gold soap for our collaboration. So, because I didn't go over it earlier, I'll tell I'll tell you guys really quick what was supposed to be in this soap. It was supposed to be teal. It was supposed to have glitter of some sort somewhere, and as we can see, I've got glitter everywhere. And then, thirdly, it would it was required to have a soap embed, and so our agates were that embed. So those were the three requirements for this uh, soap batch for this collaboration. And I only did a very so small batch. for this batch. It was a total of almost 14 ounces that fit in that box. And all I did was I went to Soap Calc and I put in my usual recipe. And that's what I used for this. Unfortunately, I had some really, really tough acceleration issues that I couldn't achieve exactly what I wanted to. We'll see when we cut into this, but I couldn't, I couldn't get there. Um, I don't know if it was the green micas or that I used too much mica, 
or if it was the fragrance. Now this was the Sea Salt and Lotus Blossom Fragrance Oils from Fragrance Oil from Nature Gardens. <laughs> Nature's Garden. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Um, <clears throat> and it's supposed to behave in all aspects, so I don't know if it was a soap um, on my end, whether it was my recipe or the micas. Or maybe I just overmixed. I'm not sure. So if you are a soaper and you're watching this, please <laughs> give me um, a shout out as to what you think the issue was. But so, um, anyways, I was actually able to unmold this soap. Um, like two hours later, I was able to pull it out of the box and then pull the paper without it like sticking to the paper, other than where. You know I got up above the edges there um, <clears throat> so I let it set like this overnight and and so now we're gonna cut it so I'm gonna cut it into four bars let's see oh there's the back side of it that looks really cool